Hey everyone, this is me, Jared again. Tonight's revised review is going to be on Let's Go 112 Collective Blade. Here's the figure. Here's the figure. It has a very good length of how it has very good length of stuff to the Mesco 112 Collective, as well as the comics as well. Mm. All the accessories that Blade has, he has his stakes. Um, he has shotgun, submachine gun, two blast effects, six pairs of sunglasses. Eight pairs of hands. Um, interchangeable head. Two glaives, a sword, and the sword of a daywalker, and a sheath, and a magnetic clip. Articulation of our blade: he has head, wrist. I mean, hand, forearm, elbow, shoulder, head, leg, foot, uh, ankle. Knee and waist movements. Oh, I forgot one more last to mention the thing. He even has his jacket as well. That somewhat limits the articulation. Overall, this fan figure is fantastic to have. Mine, th mine's figure is actually from is eighty dollars, so um, it's pretty expensive. So this is, so if you're a fan of Blade, the movies, or like Me Tw Mezco Twelve Collective, this is the one to get. Jared Paulson saying sending off and see you next time. And also, I have one more thing to say. As you're all aware, the Big Bang Theory on, on TV on Channel 4 is closing is coming to a close. And I'm probably I'm guessing we're gonna have one last look of our characters of the show, even perhaps a backstage look of how they did the show, and a final curtain call. As well as Young Sheldon will be continuing on through year after year. As well as other season finale sh season finale shows like SWAT, like another favorite of mine, and perhaps many others, like Re Orville, like recently, and, and then much pretty much in the bad in a bad way, but it'll be back in the next season. Anyway, this is Jared Paulson signing off, and see you next time.